I'm going to read some poems from Rain in Plural. And the first poem I'm going to read is more vulnerable than others. So what if I break? I will continue to eat mud, unwind underground, mask burnt signs, chew holes in every tall grip vine, breed my roots after a nap, spread fawns as free clothes, free money, lay branches bare for the moon and its jaws, while eat flower falls to its own bad dream. The problem with music. I broke my gujeng string by string, yells in astral mode, down a spongy hill of God knows what splendid historic cleave. Snow did not come to mind when my feet expected it. Suddenly clean, the idea of acting versus its ideology. I watch the aria with a deep breath from a source of torture. I did nothing, telling myself I must do nothing. Self-reliance. To rebirth a tree that whips in my womb, I heal anger with flower essence, aspen, white chestnut, and mustard. Two pencils in each pocket. Hysteria and euphoria equal a patent storm. Euphoria and hysteria equal a latent gene. The negative of each sentence is in its translation. 1. The negative of a portrait picture revives a life in two worlds, true or false. 2. The negative of a memory can be exposed within hours, true or false. 3. The negative of any number takes into account an emotion true or false. Read about Snowden. Think about his country based on a true story. I exist as a color every other year, a recipe per season. Rain dash rain dash rain. Yes, no, yes. Due to my budget, Brecht and Puccini cost less than the phone bill. Femininity, a desire to lead. In his obituary, Plato qualifies green politics. Zero is a state of being and becoming. One takes a long time to get used to it. Accept the strangeness, evasion, a magnetic oval, an erupt derailment, Accept the newly tested drugs, reclassified data about teeth, lungs, fingernails, the radioactive tub, an inquisitor's rundown, amateur astronomy, commercial fishing, the cultural impact of astrology, Korean sushis, Japanese wines. Accept the semantic pool of hairdresser, anthologize, suitcase, eclipse, moral risk. Earn your catharsis after each night shift. Foot massage, virtual sex. This isn't the last of communism. Have you listened to Clapton, the guitarist, instead of Clapton, the rock artist? You don't have to fantasize. You don't need to drink. Repraisal, to demonize dissent. A patriot checked why for all the questions. I know the patriot but not his family. His family doesn't know where he lives. I feel braver about infinity. I'm invisible between two mothers. We are creating between liberties.
This poem is from the sequence poems, Estam. The fourth of it, Zero, after Alexei Titarenko. White by accident, white before splendor. Not one image resurrects the father-son, one that stays afloat, metaphysical, denying its tyranny in my line. The spy and counter-spy on Tolstoyevsky. Pictorialism and the snow that confesses. In St. Petersburg, mothers look away from one another's eyes, not of sorrow, but to preserve their love. Love that I thought we could save from the blizzard. This poem is also from a sequence poem entitled Not Meant as Poems. It's the second one. Putin's dog can't bark. Putin's dog can't jump from a lofty height. Putin's dog can't fornicate with other bourgeois dogs on a winter stroll in a Zaretsino park. Putin's dog can't bag, but is groomed, spoilt, and fat. With what? I have no idea. Neither does the press. Putin's dog can't fire its master or look sick. It won't suffer beating or torture, but can't sleep without having to hide. But Putin's dog, like all dogs, can thank God, pee pee or caca, whenever it likes. Give up thinking twice. One, acoustic. Instead of Cohen, I heard another bard. Some thought him thunder. Some found him uphill. So what if Ray must fall hard? One grumbled. Cut inside each cord, but surrendered for time. Some thought him thunder. Some found him uphill. I listened to each repetition, an apology in the fewest words. Cut inside each cord, but surrendered for time. I would have given up a mountain for the storm. I listened to each repetition. An apology in the fewest words. How long it could last, it might have sensed when void of its heaven, it must fight its own earth. I would have given up a mountain for the storm. I credited the wind for his cri du coeur, discredited the same wind for his rhythm. How long it could last, it might have sensed when void of its heaven, it must fight its own earth. How much delirium to be heard as a poem, he did not answer, did not bother. I credited the wind for his cri du coeur, discredited the same wind for his rhythm. The clarifying music was not his task. How much delirium to be heard as a poem, he did not answer, did not bother. Some thought it ego, some said he pushed notes off the high speed reel. The clarified music was not his task. I saw a door when he played harmonica. Some thought it ego, some said he pushed notes off the high speed reel. Green, blue, and a jar. I saw a door when he played harmonica. No one waited behind or outside. Green, blue, and a jar. Times change its size. The door, not his mouthpiece or unplugged version. No one waited behind or outside. I could drink the drums had he not turned his back on us. Times change its size. The door, not his mouthpiece or unplugged version. The troubadour aged fast, not because of drugs. I could drink the drums had it not turned his back on us. I drew this theory from his Nobel Prize, how he took his time. The troubadour aged fast, not because of drugs. Heartbreak can be lean and acoustic, like a piece of meat, if mood detained the beast. I drew this theory from his Nobel Prize, how he took his time. 
every song, a friend and moon to compete for its chi and wives. Heartbreak can be lean and acoustic, like a piece of meat, if mood detained the beast. Sick of the word love, it plagiarized the best failure. Every song, a friend and moon to compete for its chi and wives. And like a friend, it did not need to try hard. Sick of the word love, it plagiarized the best failure. Unlike a moon, it spoke through the graves and diaspora. Unlike a friend, it did not need to try hard. Some gave up despair to find his past. Some gave up even when alive. Unlike a moon, it spoke through the graves and diaspora. Years down the road, if words fell apart, this prophecy would ask for one odd star. Some gave up despair to find his past. Some gave up even when alive. None of his demons survived their trance. None of this passion lover just hide. Years down the road, if words fell apart, this prophecy would ask for one the odd star. So what if rain must fall hard? One grumbled. None of his demons survived a trance. None of this passion leveled his hide. Instead of Cohen, I heard another bard. Two. Electric. Instead of Cohen, I heard another bard. Some thought him thunder, some found him uphill. So what if rain must fall hard? One grumbled. Cut inside each chord, but surrendered for time. I listened to each repetition, an apology in the fewest words. I would have given up a mountain for the storm. How long it could last, it might have sensed. When void of his heaven, it must fight its own earth. I credited the wind for his cri du coeur, discredited the same wind for his rhythm. How much delirium to be heard as a poem, he did not answer, did not bother. To clarify music was not his task. Some thought it ego, some said he pushed notes off the high speed reel. I saw a door when he played harmonica, green, blue, and ajar. No one waited behind or outside. Times change its size. The door, not his mouthpiece or unplugged version. I could drink the drums had he not turned his back on us. The troubadour aged fast, not because of drugs. I drew this theory from his Nobel Prize. How he took his time. Heartbreak can be lean and acoustic, like a piece of meat. If mood detained the beast, every song. A friend and moon to compete for its chi and wives. Sick of the word love, it plagiarized the best failure. Unlike a friend, it did not need to try hard. Unlike a moon, it spoke through the graves and diaspora. Some gave up despair to find his past. Some gave up even when alive. Years down the road, if words fell apart, this prophecy would ask for one odd star. None of his demons survived their trance. None of this passion leveled its height. Now the moon is almost hidden. The stars are beginning to hide. The fortune-telling lady has even taken all her things inside, all except for Cain and Abel, and the hunchback of Notre Dame. Everybody is making love, or else expecting rain, and the good Samaritan, his dressing. Is getting ready for the show. Eternity. How does one define spirit without blood? To make the body known across the shore, so point blank that we see its passing tail. Once of stone, before a winter moon, the spirit moves. From one width to the next height, lighter than the sweet failure of wind and hours and a stranded sail. Spirit, I don't tell myself you control our field, the random phase of a god who leaves us old, an alley to somewhere hypnotic, prolonged and curved at each turn. When you come. You ask the same question I commit to poor speech: How places grieve, poised in distance, 
or the rest of us die trying to live. When you leave, you offer nothing but the reason to fade, that it's beyond you to respond to silence. After the cold, when pain outwears pain and quantum physics, I don't tell a soul. What do you intuit on a peak? I won't tell others how storms heal or stop the countdown. Why echoes blink to preserve the drift. I won't paint your dream in this portrait. And here are some poems from The Ruined Elegance. Towering. Are you interested in stealing instincts? Or in explaining secrets of a world that rules with aid and equal distance? Layer by layer, wind seeks a message, a voice for fate. The sun, its seas, even birds in passing, detect signs at the bidding of will. An existence unaffected by seasons. So much about an unfathomable life. A round universe with plans for tomorrow, never its final word. I can't speak for accidents elsewhere, only forms, lines, thoughts stretching to dialogue on charts of water. Believe me, answers are small, even if one day you travel in light years, even when light becomes endless as a star dies another emerges in astonishment and for no reason. I wait for the ruined elegance. Plum blossoms comb the southern mountain. Maybe winter, maybe spring. What can the difference give a bystander? If only swallows meant the wind, another way to choose. Tree to tree, grievance by grievance. I watch the sun turn from a sphere to a palace, burning but not disastrous. Soon or now, my gaze will break. I want to honour the invisible. I will use the fog to see white pictures. Transparent. At first, I've forgotten its colour. An umbrella that couldn't open. The aftermath of tears. God's mask. A mangosteen with worms. To turn this ruined thought into a poem, I took out four words. Jardin sous la pluie. All things considered, details render rain free of glory, even more furial than disfigured fountains. Hoping to be illicit, yet failing in their drive. Pleasure is different when flesh answers to water. The act of receiving a cold charm. The way rain sends gladness from sky to my fingers. How do poets speak ill of flowers, make apparent the break of lightness? Facts be shown in what's wild and bare. Glamour replaces the first half of nature. Like the old masters, I seek a shape for rain, a form, a word, something hard to fake. How foolish I am to whitewash thoughts into suitcases of cloud, only to find 
may you feel them rise. Monet and Debussy kept rain with discomfort, trying to measure a quiet too pure and transparent for humans. Notes from a funeral. Faces. Anonymous guests invited, where a buffet awaits with dragon fruit, summer maki, baked apricots, olives, ginger dark. My favorite food is served after African oats, Tibetan chants, and a virtual sky barrier. With respect to my Irish governors, a priest will be there. Alas, he still can't pronounce my name in full. Thirty years my senior, my husband finds his seat on a bench at the back, a permanently sad smile and thirty years of thoughts. For the first time, without paddle and trolls, my pianist brother mixes up list of Dylan. My coffin is round, perfect feng shui. I lie like Leonardo's Vitruvian man, the sound of wild gods drumming in my heart. I settle where the wind blows me, from one state of gratitude to another province. Eyes unshut, I wait for the flowering of my last wish. The honor of your presence is requested at your own funeral reception. RSVP. I can't stay here and love you. By Yin Li Chuan. Whenever I stay aloof from daily life, scenes of daily life would move me. An old man composed in a long chair. Two youths on motorbikes meet under a tree. Stop to chat and laugh, light each other's cigarette. Lovers hand in hand on a pedestrian crossing. A sincere moment of lingering. Whenever I'm moved by such scene of daily life, I can't resist hardening my heart and flee. 我不能留在这里爱你。引力穿。每当我远离日常生活，就会被日常生活的场景感动。长椅上的老人，他神色安详。两个骑单车的少年在树下相遇，停车说笑，相互点烟。恋人们手拉手，穿过人行横道。那一刻的依恋是真心。每当我被这日常生活的场景感动，就忍不住要狠心逃开。In Pingyuan Village by Ye Lijun. How empty a village today, one without maidens. But a purple flower is in full bloom. In Pingyi village, Pingyi village, Pingsan village. Tree by tree, flowers flourish in soft fragrance. Some tower over roof tiles, others drowned in a green pond. To an old man against the flowering tree, I seek the flower name. Quietly, he looks at me and answers with a smile. 在平原村多么空寂啊现在的村庄 
，但是一种紫色的花，在开放，在平一村、平二村、平三村，一束束的繁花，淡淡的吐露芬芳，有些高过了屋瓦，有些。墨进了绿色的水塘。我像一个倚着花树的老伯，打听花名。他静静地看着我，笑而无语。Yes, with pleasure. See, your face from two angles, a higher power, tier by tier, anti-clockwise, beds of dust, arrow stained with corrosion, settling on a plane, transparent, and won't sink. Before memory, you were a silent film, a doctrine, a monsoon disowning its pact. With old centuries, crest after crest, the Dionysian axe, taint goddesses who crawl through infant lakes, or Satan, thieves on center stage, and a famished chimpanzee brushing its teeth. Yes, I will. I will read a translation of a poem by Mark Strand. The translation is in French. L'assistant social et le singe. Un jour. J'étais assis dans une pièce avec un singe qui me raconta qu'il n'était pas un singe. Je compris son angoisse d'être coincé dans un corps qu'il détestait. Monsieur, lui dis-je, je pense savoir ce que vous ressentez et je m'ai vous aider. Traitez-moi comme un singe, rétorqua-t-il. Ça m'apprendra. The social worker and the monkey. Once, I sat in a room with a monkey who told me he was not a monkey. I understood his anguish, being trapped in a body he detested. Sir,、so、I said, I think I know what you're feeling, and would like to help you. Treat me like a monkey, he said. It serves me right. You once wrote, "I hope to have the poems operate beyond witnessing, documenting, or commenting about their socio-historical sources, even if some of the thematic concerns relate to specific political events." These poems believe in history, but they don't live in the past. When asked why poetry, you then responded, "I didn't plan to be a poet. Poems and Bach bring me as much joy as doubt." Though sometimes not as much company as would horses and trees, why poetry? Because it can still resist greed and social constructs. We are now in a pandemic, in a digital age of invisibility, misinformation, and disinformation. Do you still believe in poetry as the soul of language? Yes, I do, even more so now. Um, at the risk of coming across as banal, I'll simply say that poetry is to me the pursuit of beauty, light, and life. 
even within the smallest thing of all, to feel alive, awakened, lucid, and basic. Poets may fail at creating poetry that embodies the soul of language, but that does not mean that poetry in itself fails to exist as the soul of language. Poetry aspires to a more transcendent time space or purely transcendent in itself. I'm thinking of a haiku by Jack Kerouac. The taste of rain, why kneel? As a poet, I still have a long way to go.